So I want to talk about a major change that Walmart is making, and they're making a change to the way that they price items. What Walmart is now going to do, and it's going to happen in about 2,300 stores over the next couple of years, Walmart is going to put digital price tags on their items. Now, what is this going to do? Well, it's for one, according to Walmart, it's going to make things easier because now they can go and reprice items quicker, which could give you some great savings. However, they could also go the other direction and increase prices when more people are in the store or when a specific item is in high demand. So that is what we're going to talk about today. I want to address what's going on, what other other businesses have done in the past and why this is concerning. So I'll break all that down in just a moment, but all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So just look at this. It says Walmart, going digital with shelf price tags. The 2300 Walmart stores will get them within the next two years. Now, I wanna read a little bit about this because a lot of people have been speculating that Walmart is just going to increase prices. And I want to be very clear on this. That is not their intention. Their intention is to be able to optimize their software, optimize their system, and ensure that it doesn't take two to three days to go and reprice all their inventory. It takes a few clicks and within a couple minutes, all those items, the prices will change. Now, I bring this up because I have a friend and he runs, he's a, he's a manager of a grocery store. I'm not going to say the name of this grocery store uh, because of what I'm about to say, but he's a manager of a grocery store and they went in with the intention, the uh, corporate went in with the intention of they were going to ensure that they could change prices quickly to give their customers the best deals at a moment's notice. That was their intention. The problem was, that is not what happened. They went in with that, but then there were times throughout the year where the uh, they had wildfires in years the area. Ago, State Street created an and ETF that so what happened was water it still jumped does. in price. What can you do with okay, instead of water being, let's say, $3.99, it was $6.99. Okay, $7.99. They just We're almost doubled the price of water attention now to the retail because water was in such high demand on target. Both have reported. They also targets way down did this because this has been going on for a couple of years like now. Report. Okay, they, they, they introduced this back before, uh, like right when the pandem pandemic hit. But what they did the was when toilet paper of the consumer was in stock. Yeah, hey, Stuart. Yeah, it no, wasn't I think, I think the earnings what, six ninety nine or seven ninety nine, whatever you pay for toilet paper. That wasn't what the price was. They upped it a few dollars. Consumer, and the, uh, is their, the way they justified uh, it was, the, well, if we side, increase the, the price, less people will up, buy uh, for better. four or uh, five big rolls, between, you know, Walmart big bundles. Is, is, They'll just buy Walmart one or maybe two. That's it. So that's why they increased the price. Whereas for Target, but again, I bring it to your attention because Walmart says they're not going to uh, use it uh, right now, for um, to, for know, surge pricing. And, and but at the same time, these, uh, discretionary that's not what everyone goes into this for. At, at Walmart They go into it with the target. intention it's going to save them money. Real big but then in the something way changes. Shop? Something little changes, like oh well, yeah, no, I, th I think we are seeing make a, a few in, extra bucks here. Let's do it. You know, they are you know gravitating It only starts with one item. Retailers. That's it. You know. Uh, My friend was are, saying you know, kind of that they only started with water. Uh, it was just water because the people were coming in, in and trying to buy out really everything. Strong, you know, uh, so instead of setting a limit growing, because it's, customers would get mad, you know, e they just increased the prices and uh, have essentially really people and, bought less, uh, growing but more people were able to come and get water. Uh, kind of okay. what you know, Amazon did about a decade well, ago. It's, the same it's really goes for toilet paper. Of Amazon. What about when it's raining? Uh, for Target, we see Target's this all the time. A, 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 Here in the Seattle area, strategy, but it's just, you know, I see it all the time than, where than we are, so we go really, into a you know, store in okay? and there's there's no umbrellas. Um, we go into, let's say, a Home Depot. I know you no umbrellas. All throughout the Home Depot, no umbrellas. But then on a day it's raining, you go into Home Depot, guess what? They have a big box of umbrellas right there by their front end. 
Walmart surge. is right now. Uh, now it's not surge pricing, but we have a buy this rating. essentially. And oh, there's our, no umbrellas. Our price yeah, we don't need target. umbrellas. We just right? cut so it this there's morning. no rain. It was 171, but we cut okay. targets. But then it starts to rain, and oh, there's a big box. Uh, we do, Where did we that do box come from? It wasn't here yesterday. It wasn't here 30 minutes ago when it wasn't raining. Now it's raining. There's umbrellas. We've been on the air for many, many years. But in recent years, we've been when I read you this as well, which shows these astronomical. Says Walmart is shifting to digital price when you uh, prices the across market. the chain, twenty three hundred stores. Retailing. Now again, uh, it's, it's they say it's dull. going to save I mean, them time. I, I hate to say this, but want to read this to you. You know, you're, you're looking, says Walmart your shoppers Walmart will soon be checking prices on electric, really uh, electronic shelf labels. But the nation's largest retailer saying it will shift to digital price outside. technology you know what I mean? from its current paper stickers yeah, no, around its 2,300 it. U.S. Yeah, stores by 2026. Says Walmart stores have more than 120,000 products on their shelves, each with an individual paper price tag. Each week, Walmart workers add price tags on new items, rollbacks, and markdowns. A time-consuming not just being known for process. its core retail business it's, now, it's also growing its advertising touch on business this one as well. you know, these like tech like investments that Walmart I actually have a in. friend that um, it's starting this to is become, talking to a lot of investors he goes around and he they're, updates they're talking prices. about Walmart as okay. You know, and kind of like a tech and this a, isn't somebody that I've you, you, known for a while. The only reason I even know this person is because I used to go into Walmart we'll stores into and I'd scan hundreds or thousands of items at Walmart. And I'd scan it with my phone. And anything that looked like it was a good deal that I could flip and sell it on Amazon, I would buy it from that store and I'd ship it off to Amazon and sell it. Okay, it was just called retail arbitrage. And that was something that I used to do. And that was a friend that I, you know, I met by doing this. Well, after talking for quite some time, you know, still talk here and there, this is his job, it's still his job. And he loves it. He goes around and, and he updates prices. Here's my one question. What happens to all these people? Because Walmart just said they have 120,000 products on their shelves. What happens to those people that that was their job? To go around and update prices. You don't need them anymore, right? You just don't need them anymore. They'll be done. So my friend, he still works at Walmart because the, the location that he works at obviously hasn't transitioned yet, but once it does, what's his job? What's his role at that point? I don't know. But the reason why I wanted to bring this to your attention again is simple. What is Walmart going to do? Because like I said, okay, I have a friend that, you know, he manages a, a store and, and he said that wasn't their intention going in was to increase prices as demand increased, but that was something that they thought was a good idea so that more customers would have access to those products. Again, surge pricing. So. We'll see what happens moving forward, but Walmart is gonna be the first store to really do this and implement this across all their stores. The other one that has been doing it is Walgreens. There's some more stores as well. I anticipate this is gonna happen on all stores. And when it does, now it's gonna be a race to the bottom on certain items, but on others, they'll be pushing prices up. So we'll see what happens there. But that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.